Alrighty, welcome back to the Contagious League. So, um, as I started thinking about this, I realized I'd better start making some more progress relatively quickly here because this is still just the basic asteroid. I have, after this colony, I have all kinds of other asteroids that I have to start working my way through as well. Now, I don't know if I'll make all of those into videos or not, but I do at least want to experience them personally. And if the series is doing well um, as we continue going through it, which it's already done better than I expected it to, then I don't know, maybe I will continue on with the videos. But in any case, so I'm not going to start another one until I finish this one. But uh, that's, you know, that's pretty much my, uh, my modus operandi for where, why I almost never finish games is because I start new playthroughs before finishing the previous ones. But anyway, enough rambling, Michael. Let's get back to this one in particular. Um, so I did leave a reminder here for myself of these three things that I want to try to take care of as soon as possible. I'm not going to build them just yet because couple of things I was noticing here. First of all, my plan to stop the slime lung germs from getting into my main base here. And um, by the way, I, I mean in the air, um, I, as somebody pointed out, your dupes get slime lung through breathing it in. And so I've been trying to avoid getting the germs into the space because I don't want it to get into the air over here. And it, it worked as pretty well right here but I completely neglected this area right here so slime lung has snuck its way through here I don't think it's a major deal but one thing I do definitely want to do right away is seal this off so that the slime lung that has already gotten into this area doesn't uh, doesn't get worse and this will hopefully over time begin to uh, it is in polluted oxygen, so it's actually right now it's it's going to continue to grow in terms of the number of germs. There's not a whole lot I can do about that just yet, but as long as we've got oxygen up here, I think we're pretty well protected from it contaminating the rest of our base. Then um, I also have this entire what I've started thinking of is the Rube Goldberg machine over here of trying to sterilize the germs. I don't love this. It's aesthetically not very appealing. Now, I did deliberately kind of do some of these things as, as uh, I don't want to say inefficiently. I keep overusing that word, but as sort of um, twisted and convoluted as possible. I, uh, I've got bridges here. I've got things overlapping each other. One thing that I think I would like to do is is kind of maybe start converting an area over here into sort of a um, a gas processing facility so that I can easily keep track of the different gases that I've get them, got in my base. Maybe start you know setting up an air conditioning system so that we can be sending oxygen to all of the um, residential and work areas, but, or when I say work, I mean like the, like the cooking and the, the research areas. And then, um, the polluted oxygen, we'll want to send that somewhere where it can be refined into oxygen. And the hydrogen, I want to get into a Dreco ranch somewhere. The chlorine, I want to keep probably either down here or wherever we decide to build the chlorine. Um, gas. In fact, we might as well convert like this whole area since this uh, chlorine gas vent is right here. We might as well convert like this whole thing into a great big sterilization chamber. And uh, what am I forgetting? There's another major ga uh, natural gas. I've got natural gas over here as well. So I don't exactly know how I'm going to do that. It's not going to be very efficient for sure when I start doing it, but it's going to help me at least get organized, I think. So that's one thing I would like to do, and I'm kind of eyeing this area over here to do that. It also means, of course, that I need to dig out some more slime. So I think objectives for this episode is to dig out more slime and... Um, maybe set that up or probably more likely to get distracted by whatever pops up in the uh, in the intermediate term. So I think I'm just going to leave these here as reminders. The water sieve, I do want to start 
thinking about what to do about my water because I'm getting a little bit on the low side here. I do have some water up here that I could add to it, but this is quite hot. So I think maybe step number one um, is, after building that little airlock there, the mechanized airlock, is to clear out some more slime, get myself some more working area over here on the western side of the base. Step number two actually might be to get a break over here into this cold biome and get myself some ice so that I can start cooling down the water so that I, f I will feel like I can start adding some warmer water to it and it will not overly uh, warm up everything inside the base. I could also maybe figure out, I think there's something like an, there's some type of utilities that will help. Um, there's an ice maker that can, uh, icy fan, I think is what I was thinking. The icy fan uses ice to dissipate a small amount of heat. Okay, so yeah, there, there's some other options that I'm going to have to kind of experiment with to figure out what's the best solution to make sure that we keep heat out of our base. And by that, you know, on that note, one other thing I do definitely want to do is I want to finish basically defining the perimeter of, of the main part of the base. And what I mean by that is I want to establish the, um, the uh, insulated tiles. To, to try to keep heat out. Now I'm going to have to figure out a good way to keep heat out through the uh, the at, through the apertures, you know, through the areas where there's going to be openings, like the ladders. I think um, I don't really know how well the mechanized airlocks work for keeping heat out. So I think maybe I'll play it safe and run the insulated tile like all the way out to here, and maybe run my, you know. That, that way, if heat starts to creep in through this door, it will be a little bit further out here and not affecting the main part of my base, I think. That is a possibility. Could do something similar to that over here, probably. So let me just start to identify the slime areas that I do want to target first. This is one area here. That's, I think, not too much to ask for to get through all that. Maybe all this. Okay, that'll take care of that. This. And then what about over here? Here I talked about this being the priority over here, but I want to get, actually, I want to get that airlock up first and then start um, and, and give it a little bit of time to make sure the germs don't get worse before I start digging out more slime lung over there. Okay, so let's go ahead and get back to work here. Um, I do have some some skill points that I could be applying, but I'm not going to yet until I have a good sense of where our morale is from a stability, from a, like a stable morale standpoint. And I want to, I want to keep the digging of the slime lung limited enough that I can kind of keep an eye on it to make sure that that uh, I didn't screw something up and let too many germs in. Oh, I guess uh, pretty obviously they're not going to—they're not going to start digging that up yet, Michael, until you actually clear the path. And the same thing here. I'm going to go ahead and just do this. Oops. G. Let's go ahead and build a ladder then down to here. I guess actually I'm going to do it down to here so that you can reach that one right there. And I'm going to zoom out a little bit. I'm going to okay, research complete. What did we just do? We did. I'm going to pause it for a second because I have to refresh my memory here about what exactly I was doing. The, atmo the atmo suit, atmospheric suit, is good. I'm going to start probably looking at making some clothing and some atmospheric suits and some stuff like that. Um, exosuit overlay, yeah. 
So, um, I think we also don't, we have some type, yeah, this uh, textile loom. We could start making some clothing using that. There are some things here that are stuff I, that are either new or that I've just never, ever made before. Like, I've never gotten as far as making a beach chair before. I have no idea whether that's for up in the atmosphere or if that's something that you do down in your base. This, to me, feels like this is new. If that has always been there, I've just never noticed it before. Either, either is possible. Okay, I'm not seeing anything that I'm finding particularly urgent at this point. I do want to get this. It's a low priority, but eventually I do want to get the gas range going. So that's as good as anything else, I suppose, to research. That is unreachable until I build those ladders. Come on, guys. What's up? Oh, oh. Yeah, I don't actually want to build that there. Never mind, guys. Can't belay this order here. That was a terrible place for me to actually give the build order. Here, up, let me do it. Uh, refinement, I think it was, right? I, it was a polymer press that I just canceled. Let's put it here where we, it can't be reached. And the same thing with the water sieve. Those are, th those are just as reminders not to actually build, guys, okay? All right. Uh, Food-wise, we're still doing fine, although our stress is getting a little higher here. Lindsay, the artist. A couple more percent, and she'll be hitting the uh, massage table. Okay, there we go. So we we got the slime here. Is somebody going to grab that? I assume so. We got slime here, of course. Pick this stuff up and put it put it in the uh, decontamination chamber before it starts emitting too many germs here, please, guys. I mean, this right here is where is it? Uh, yeah, down here. This is a a higher priority. It's a priority six. Somebody ought to be picking the slime up here soon, I would hope. Unless I don't have anybody set. I probably don't. Well, yeah, I'm, let me check my priorities here. Do I not have anybody? Do I not have any, like, gophers? I have no gophers. I need somebody to do storing as a priority. Tidying, supplying, and storing. All right, well, Bert the Plumber, you're the one I kind of would like to get to do this. Let's just see where's Bert the Plumber. Is there a way to, like... There's got to be a way to, like... To, like, locate somebody really quickly. Is there, like, a find function? I'm sure there is, but I just am not familiar enough, so I'll look for him the old-fashioned way. Where's... Oh, Bert the Plumber is sleeping. Okay. Let's see what happens after he wakes up. Which should happen here in another 24th of a cycle. I guess it's an hour. Are these guys all... Yeah, they're all cramped, right? I think... That's okay. I'm just going to leave it cramped for now. I've got enough guys up there to produce coal, and uh, if I need the food, I know where to get some. Okay, so where did Bert go? I missed, uh, lost track of Bert. Bert, where'd you go? Lindsay the artist. Is this you? That's you, okay, very good. Nope, you grabbed muckroot. That's not what I wanted you to get. Let's see what... Here, let me do this. Okay. Store coal. Store slime. Okay, you know what? We're going to have to change this to a seven. We want you to store slime before you store coal. Okay. Very good. Got a little bit of natural gas that seeped through, but I think 
I think that's fine because that's everything that uh, is going to, that's the only reason we needed to go in there. Are you the farmer or just go, oh, okay, wow, we got all kinds of uh, stuff going on. Okay, so we got a, Ari the farmer, you are now improved farming too, congratulations. Bert the plumber, you're fine the way you are, you're fine the way you are, Joshua the doc, you're fine the way you are, Nails the builder, you're fine the way you are, Nicola the chef, you are fine the way you are. Okay. Yeah, I don't want to overdo it on the skills until our morale is higher and stable. This is no longer unreachable, so... Okay, Rowan the Versatile, what are you doing here, buddy? I'm loving how their athletics keeps getting better and better, which means they are getting faster and faster. Delivering clay, okay, clay is almost as good as, as slime. Okay, Bert the plumber picked up all of the slime. I think that's it. That's all the slime. Very good. Okay, that's fine. This is all still chlorine gas down here. Yeah, there's no need to do disinfecting. Disable disinfect. And, you know, I just realized is I copy settings. I copied the settings from the wrong one. I want them to all be priority seven. Okay, Bert, clean yourself off. And let me just double check now. Make sure that you got, that nobody's carrying around a bunch of germs. I think we're all good. Oh, no, nope, you are. How did you get that? How did you, where did you get, what are you carrying? Carrying more slime. How did slime get down here, I wonder? Maybe somebody dropped it while they were carrying it? Okay, I don't know what you're doing here. What are you doing? Life support supplied to Bert the plumber. Now, okay. good. Never mind. Do what you're gonna do. You picked up algae. You probably just picked up. Yep, you're carrying algae filled with slime lung. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna let you get to the ladder here. This is a level of micromanagement that I don't like to do, but I'm glad I was watching because we're gonna move him. That's gonna cause him to drop the algae. It's going to drop down here into the chlorine. I want to give that algae a moment to lose its germs. And by a moment, it's going to take more than a moment, apparently. Yeah, I love how quickly the slime, slime lung germs goes down when it's in a chlorine environment. Oh, this is a carbon dioxide environment. No, no wonder it's not... Uh, Dagnabbit, Joshua the Doc got slime lung now. All right, well, it is what it is. Okay, attribute increase. We got science improvement. That's good. Do we have anything? See, look how many, I mean, you just look away for like a minute and you can see how many germs can start to grow inside your base. And of course, I've got dupes that are particularly vulnerable to germs. So I'm afraid that we're going to have, uh, we're going to be dealing with this for a long time, potentially. That's why I just want to keep the slime lung under control. Okay, now let's go ahead and do this. Let's keep. Let's keep uh, setting up the insulated tiles here. And I think I'll just go ahead and do it like this. How does that look from a heat perspective? That's pretty good. I could actually stand to bring it up like right there from where I've got this. I'm just going to bring it straight up like, oops, like this. I can rearrange this later depending on how, uh, how exactly I need to shape the rooms. But that will do for now. Oh, 
That means we can go ahead and dig some of this out. And I think then what I want to do How do I want to make make it? Or how do how do I want to arrange it to get down here? I think what I'm going to do is do a ladder here, down to here, go ahead and dig this out. And so now they have to go outside to come down around this way. If I do this, if I close this off. Food is decayed, that's fine. We still have plenty of calories. Okay, very good. Let's go ahead and seal this off. I'll probably cha change the uh, floor level here long term, but for now it's fine. Doesn't look the prettiest, but it's fine. Same thing here. I'm going to go ahead and lay down a temporary floor here just to be consistent. Ashkin the scientist or, or the skill point? Okay, so here we go. Ashkin, you're at 12. If I were to take this That would put you up to 15. Now your morale is currently 29. I think you can take that. Okay, so you're up to 15. So you're now an, an operator extraordinaire. You're my me mechatronics engineer. So let's take a look here at operating and make sure that, yeah, okay, that's fine. That's fine, you're set. Are you set uh, higher than anybody else for operating? Only Lindsay the artist. Okay, and her machinery is five. All right. We got athletics increase, insufficient oxygen generation. Okay, so I need to start thinking about my oxygen generation as well. Um, let me just double check and make sure. It's not a high priority. Our gas is, or I'm sorry, our base is pretty breathable right now. We have a little bit over here that would be nice to get. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's get... Let's get some oxygen over here as just a temporary measure. Let's go ahead and run this up like this. Oh, there's no way, no way to get over there right now. Okay, well that's that's something that I'm going to have to figure out. I think what we'll do looks like we can go the whole way across the top here. So we're going to go ahead and build our ladder up to here. We're going to go ahead and build We're going to build our insulated tiles like so. I did that one more than I wanted to. Let's go ahead and get another mechanized airlock here. Dig this out. Okay, so we can go up here, we can run across here. all the way over to here and run a ladder down like so and now we can now we have access to this side over here okay it's going to be a long run but it really shouldn't be something we need to do very often so it's fine this is okay this is set up in work oh it says no filter selected so i need to set this to detect unbreathable gas natural gas Okay, so now whenever, sending a red signal because right now it's sitting in polluted oxygen instead of, instead of in natural gas. But if natural gas ever starts filling up down here, this will turn green, this pump will turn on. Let me enable the building. It will turn on and it will pump out. So even though I've just turned it on, it is disabled by the automation grid. Very good, that's what we want. Could probably do the same thing here. New printables are available. What do we have? We're at 10 dupes right now. Ooh, we got a pip squeak. Okay, I'm going to take the pip squeak. I just don't have anything set up right now for him to do. But 
let's start thinking about this. Where would be, oh, look at all this polluted oxygen. This is, this is yuck. This is absolute yuck down here, guys. Look at all this polluted oxygen. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna set up some, some deodorizers. Uh, where can I set up a deodorizer? I can set one up there. I could, and I'm gonna set one up here. Set up kind of this ugly looking setup here. Deodorizer right there. And then power. Okay, so this is this is temporary, but this is basically just to try to get some of this polluted oxygen turned into regular oxygen. At this point, I think I actually can do research complete. What did I just do? The game? Oh, okay, good. I think that's all the researching I'm gonna do for the time being, because there's plenty of other work that we're falling behind on. I think what I'll do from a, okay, yeah, I can go ahead and do another mechanized airlock over here. And then I can just go ahead and do the insulated tile here. And run it. I don't see really any reason not to square this off. I don't love great big squares. They're aesthetically not very appealing, but we'll, we'll alter it based on the size of the rooms that we need. I probably should be a little less concerned about the aesthetics of my base right now anyway, and more concerned about its functionality. These guys are at max gas pressure. That's why they're not producing more starvation. Lindsay, the artist, why are you starving? Shouldn't be, we got tons of food. Okay, so this is starting to work the oxygen. Another option is if I need to, I could start pump, I could set up a uh, gas pump and start pumping some of the polluted oxygen out. But I don't think we need to just yet. Okay, this area right here needs to get dug out so that we can, let's just do all of it so that we can build those. And then um, for now, let's go ahead and build a ladder just to help us get all of this set up. It's gonna allow us to dig out all of this and just make sure there's no germs or anything that I need to particularly worry about. This looks pretty good to me. Slime lung, another one got slime lung. Okay, nails, the, is that nails the builder? Nails the builder, okay. So let me just double check my germ situation again. Okay. They must, at least when they're picking up the slime lung, I know they're doing it from outside the base. Pay the big, the digger, excavation skill up, that's good. Okay, I'm gonna have to do something over here. I'm just gonna do scaffolding for now because Long-term, I don't exactly know what I want to do up here. Although I tell you what, one thing that I might do, people have been clamoring for this. Now that I've got a pip squeak, I'm gonna cancel that. And I'm actually gonna cancel this. I might set up a nature reserve over here and then set up a like a an atmospheric suit station or something so that when they go out this way they'll have to pass through our nature reserve. I don't know. I'll I'll think about it. I kind of I'm assuming from a nat for nature reserves it doesn't matter that I've got these uh these tasteful memorials, I would hope. Nature, nature reserve. It just says no industrial 
Machinery, okay, so let's do this. Let's get a, um, is it furniture? I'm looking for the uh, flag. Okay, I don't see it there. I don't see it there. Rowan the Versatile, earned a skill point. Okay, so, Rowan the Versatile, you are... You are going to do some construction next. Okay, that works for me. And let me just check your priorities here. Row in the versatile. Building, building, building. Let's do that. So, yeah, that looks good to me. Okay, if I do this, if I build... Like right here. Oops, no, that's not where I want to do it. Gonna have to do it one below that. If I if I block this off like so, and leave, I want to see how big this this whole room is going to be at this point. I'll ha I know it's going to be too big. I'll have to make it smaller. Okay. Um, So this is now sealed off. How big is this room right now? It's, oh, that because of that opening right there. Let's prioritize this. Six. Six, there we go. In fact, you know what, Can't cancel all this. Cancel all that, guys, Never mind. leave all that. And so what I need to do here, I'm gonna pause it because things are happening too quickly for me here. Critter, critter drop off right here. Let's prioritize this. Okay, and you, critter, pipsqueak. I don't see a pip, so can I, can I, uh, what is, what's the, the button I'm looking for? Uh, wrangle, can I wrangle this pipsqueak? I cannot, yes I can, okay, good. So we wanna wrangle him, we wanna turn him in here. Six, okay. And then what we wanna do is we want a storage bin right here. You know what? I don't I don't guess all of a sudden I need any of this scaffolding, do I? I'm gonna cancel all this for now. We'll just leave it like that for now. If I ever need really need to build those insulated tiles, I can do it from the outside. Okay, so now this storage bin we want. We want seeds, and what do we want? We want um, mealwood, mirth leaf, thimble reed, briar, balm lily. I think those are all fine to allow those. And so, if uh, if this works the way I'm hoping, I can go ahead and get rid of the scaffolding right there. If this works the way I'm hoping. Then the pip. How, oh, this door's got to be closed, Aldo. And this door's now got to be closed as well. And that's been built. Okay, so this room is 142. That's too big. Guys, you're really, really too slow. There we go, just barely. Okay. All right, so he's now trapped. 142. The nature reserve can be how big? 120. And I need the park sign and I need four wild plants. Okay, so what we need to do is we need to knock off how many? 20. We need to knock off 22 tiles here somehow. And we also need the pip to. 
pick up some uh, some seeds here and start planting them. So if I knock off all of this, if I make this enclosed like that, that ought to be enough to, uh, to work. So the way that we're going to do that is by having just a couple of places for our dupes to climb up. I think they can hit all of that. Let's go ahead and cancel destroying that scaffolding for the time being. In fact, we're going to need to add one more right here. Oh, we got to run some power to our to our mechanized airlocks there. Where are we at? We're still at three slime lung. Make sure that uh, everything else is still functioning more or less as expected. We got an issue here with the slime lung germs, but that's just going to have to be something that I can live with for the time being. We got an awful lot. Okay, that's because this is polluted oxygen. I was going to say, we got a lot of slime lung down here, and it's because of a lack of chlorine. Okay, so we got to figure out how to get... This is enabled... So what a, how am I doing... Oh, that's right. I've got this just set on a timer. I think we could probably reduce the timer. 15% of the day. It's pumping... What? It's pumping CO2 which is what we want. It's all, is it all CO2 right now? It's all CO2, that's fine. Slickster should be happy. Got some attribute increases. Okay, so we're, how are we looking down here now? We're at 130. We're at 128. I'm going to end up being just over 120, aren't I? 125, is that what we're at right now? Okay. All right, so I need to knock off five more. Well, we can do that by doing this. There we go. We no longer need that. Uh, look at the cute little pipsqueak while he's sleeping. Tiny baby. Oh, yeah, wait a minute. Meanwhile, I was trying to find the... Um, okay, base. I don't see the park flag. Could it be here? No. It's not plumbing, I'm pretty sure. Medicine? No. Furniture. Maybe I haven't researched it yet. Oh, there it is. Park sign right there. Boom. Okay. So let's do the park sign. Let's actually put it, you know, in the actual area vicinity of. So this is letting you know that when you go into this area that it's going to be the park. Okay. Now, how are we looking? 120. Perfect. And now that we've done that, we've got everything except that we need four wild plants. Let's go ahead and... We, what we need now are we need seeds here. Somebody's starving. At least I'm not seeing more slime lung popping up, so that's a good thing. Although you guys are still running around an awful lot over there. What are you doing? Delivering clay? Okay, that's fine. Actually, that's... That needs doing. Let's 
since I have so many deodorizers floating around. Okay, how are we? Okay, I'm just going to kind of let things play out here for a minute. I'm actually going to speed up to uh, triple speed for a minute. I want to get some uh, seeds over here, fellas. Okay. Doesn't look like I have brought... Uh, Ruin upon the base so far this episode, so that's a good thing. That is certainly something that can happen in this game. At this point, I think I could probably delete all these as well. There we go. We dropped some seeds off, so I'm going to slow this down um, to just double speed for the time being. So we got lots of seeds in here. Now, I think... I don't know if he'll do it while he's a pipsqueak. He might have to grow into a full-grown uh, full adult pip. But I think what they will do is they will rummage through the, uh, the storage bin here. I can, I'm going to change this back to 5. Attribute increase, we'll take that. Construction skill up. Okay, this is still a 120 room. Okay, that's good. So now what I can do probably is... Is this slime right here? That is slime, okay. I'm going to go ahead and risk building, uh, I'm going to go ahead and risk, uh, getting that slime out of the way. I'll just keep an eye on it. As long as I do this carefully, I think I can keep the slime lung in check. I'm sure there's a better way to do it than the level of micromanaging that I'm doing, but... I, uh, I'm not quite that advanced yet. So, 40, 41 in here. Slime lung. That's not good. Where did you get it? Okay, we got a little slime lung down here. Other than that, it's all outside the base. Nope, a little bit more down here. This is bad. Okay, we need, uh, yeah, this is where that I let that slime sit for just a minute, and we can already see how bad it's gotten. Let's go ahead and make sure that we get a de deodorizer over here. In fact, let's get two. Let's do another deodorizer over here. Let's get some power set up. I want to start getting to the point where my power is all running through walls and floors, because, or I should say the wire. Is all running through walls and floors because it otherwise detracts from decor. So that's one thing I want to focus on doing. Not exactly a high priority, but it is something I do want to do. And I do actually want to set up a couple of power plants. So that's, uh, that's another thing that's on the agenda. Got plenty of blossom seeds now. I think we're doing okay for food, but it's nice to know we, we could plant more... Uh, bristle blossoms if we need to. Look at all this fish. I forgot about all these pakus. Those are going to be really good food. They are crowded. That's bad. That means that they're going to start, they're, that they're not going to lay eggs. We need more water. We desperately need more water. Okay, so it's time to start thinking about the water situation now. Um, been focused on too many other things here. So let's get to, we don't really have enough polluted water to really worry about that, uh, about uh, converting that, refining that into regular water and getting it over here. So I think this is, this is what we need to do more than anything else now is, you're dormant. Okay, so we have a little bit of time here. Oh, and there's not even any slime over here. So let's get this. Let's dig this out. And we're going to start with snow. We'll dig up the snow. And once we've got that dug up, I'll be able to put some snow down here. That snow will 
very quickly melt because of the heat coming from here if uh, if I let it let's see how this goes I kind of don't I don't love you guys having to get sopping wet I should probably figure out a better way to do this your printables are available choose blueprint okay I don't want any more dupes right now I don't even want to look at them don't even want to be tempted okay Alright, go ahead and dig through that. And I think maybe heat stroke, that's bad. Let's go ahead and do this. Okay, so we got snow here. Snow, snow, snow. Let's go ahead and put the snow in this storage bin. It's going to be under liquefiable. Snow. Six. No. Seven. Okay, so somebody's going to grab that snow, and the same thing will happen with the ice. This is polluted ice, so we do not want polluted ice. Let's dig the polluted ice up so I can go, so I can then immediately block this so that it doesn't take polluted ice. Yeah, I need to figure out a better way than having them run through super hot water to get the, okay, polluted ice. Let's make sure we do not have polluted ice selected here. Okay. And then one more. Once you dig up the ice, all of this can get dug up. Okay, so that's regular ice. We want regular ice down here now. Okay, so as we start to put some ice in there, I think at this point we can now consider... Uh, where am I? Plumbing. Um, liquid pump. Let's go ahead and take it from right here. We don't want all of it just yet, but we'll go ahead and do... Um, we'll go ahead and do this much of it, and we need to run a liquid pipe then. And let's run it. Let's see here. We need... We need it to get dropped off right here. Liquid vent. Boom. Right there. So that's where we want it to get dropped off. So we need a liquid bridge right here. I think that for now, I think, I think granite is fine. Let me flip this around. Okay, so we want the the liquid pipe to run like this for now. Okay, so once that is powered, it will bring the water down along this way and it'll start dripping down and adding to there. I think that's all there is to it. Did we did we connect the wires? We did, okay. So now all we got to do is I'm going to prioritize building this much of it so that you spend as little time as possible in this hot water. Let me just check the slime stitch. Okay, actually all of this... Let me do this. I need to figure out another way through all of the slime here to get to this biome. There's just so much slime in the way. All right, how do we want to do this? And we gotta be careful this polluted water. We don't want that to drop down and get mixed in with the regular water. What is our best way in there? Okay, if I do if I do this, if I dig this right here. Those are the only two slime tiles with slime lung that I have to worry about as long as I stay 
along this channel right here, which means let's give ourselves a little bit of scaffolding right here. Let's give ourselves steps down to the scaffolding right there, which means we now can dig this out. And then we'll be able to come this way across here to here, more scaffolding. And then we can dig here. And then once that tunnel is built, this is all our alternative way into this area. Now, I just now noticed we have another object here. So I think what everybody's told me is you definitely want to dig that tile right there, right? That's a joke, okay? Well, that's apparently the one tile that you don't want to dig. So we can dig those two, I think, and identify it without actually releasing it. Okay, so now if we're going to do that, I don't really need this ladder built right now. Oh, we started to get some sleet wheat grain as well. That's nice. Okay, what are you doing? Oh, you're just grabbing ice. That's that's good, actually. That's very good. That's fine. We got, uh, this is all natural gas, right? Natural gas. It's got food poisoning in it for some reason, but whatever. Okay. Um... 23% stress, four people with slime lung. Just make sure my germs are okay. Not, not bad, not bad. The main part of the base is still okay. Now this over here has got now some slime lung in it, but it shouldn't be too bad as long as we keep that mechanized airlock closed and it's, there's really no reason to open it right now. Okay. Very good. We're starting to build our. You know what? I, what I want to do is I want to build the ladder, the whole way across. That way, the water here, we can run across the top of the scaffolding without getting our feet wet. Save ourselves from the soggy feet, debuff. Okay. So it looks like the pipsqueak so far has not rummaged, damaged, overheated. Okay, that, so that's smart battery, so I need to actually be making... So what is our temperature in here anyway? Oh, wow, how's our temperature all of a sudden that hot? 38 here, 37 here, 127 here. I had no, I guess it's, it's producing that heat on its own, I guess. Hmm. Interesting. So what I probably should be doing is instead of making this out of copper, or is it gold? What's it made out of right now? Properties, primary element gold. Okay. So instead of making it out of gold, okay. Turns to molten gold at at a thousand sixty-three Celsius. Well, it's quite far from that, so it's just being damaged. It's not actually melting. That's good. Um, okay, so what if I wanted to make a replacement smart battery? What are my oh? Gold is the only thing I have. All right, well then I guess we're gonna leave it gold for now. We'll deal with the uh, the damage. We've got a decent amount of ice here that should be, it's not very full yet, so it's not having much effect on the temperature, but it will in time, as long as we keep adding more ice to it. It is probably that part of the game, the mid-game now, where I need to start paying attention to. Actually, I imagine a lot of people would still consider this to be early game. But I need to start paying attention to the heat. Watching for problem areas like this. It's going to just keep suffering damage here. Do we? I don't have a... Uh, 
a whatchamacallit, a uh, fine mint, a rock crusher. I need a rock crusher. Let's put it down here. Let's go ahead and power it. Oops, not well done there, Michael. Not well done at all. Okay, so we're gonna have to pay the big the digger. Okay, you're at 12. I don't really need another farmer, so I'm gonna leave you where you're at. I think um, priorities wise, farming, pay the digger. Yeah, you're not even set to do any extra farming or prioritize farming, so that's good. Okay, um, better give them time to finish this up and finish digging this passage right here. More heat stroke. Why are you guys continuing to run over there? You're picking up the clay. Oh, uh, well, I guess that does need to get done. Food situation is still looking okay. Tell you what I want to do. No, never mind. I've got these de deodorizers up here. If this polluted oxygen ever snakes its way up and out, it'll go through those deodorizers. So we're okay right there. At this point, it looks like I've built up enough of a queue of orders where uh, I better just let let my dupes do some work, so I'm gonna speed things back up here. We're already coming up on an hour. I didn't quite accomplish everything I wanted to, but that's not surprising. That is pretty much always the case with this game. I get distracted by something. But we have made some progress, I feel like. And what I just wanna do is, I'd like to get this tunnel built so I can start excavating more over here, I actually want to, I think maybe I want to delete, no, nope, never mind, I'll delete those later. I want to stop them from running up this way and instead force them to start coming through this way. So let's go ahead and build, this, this might be for next time, just as a reminder to build a ladder here. Well, and of course, we uh, we can barely reach the water with this pitcher pump right now. So we definitely got to definitely got to get more water in here, ASAP. Let me just make sure there's no there's no other sources of water anywhere, is there? Okay, well, it's all right. We'll figure something out. Just uh, really obsessive about making sure germs are not, the slime lung germs are not infiltrating the base. We're down to three with slime lung now, so that's good. Although as we continue to run down into here, even though it doesn't seem to be all that heavy with slime lung germs, it does seem to be enough to make our dupes sick. So that's a little unfortunate. But other than that, I think we're we're doing okay here. What? There we go. We got another slime lung. Pay the digger. I guess they get it when they wake up in the morning. So they get it overnight. It's nasty stuff and it lasts a really long time. Okay. We're not really doing very good. Oh, what's this fish? This is a tropical paku. So that's going to provide lots of food for us as well once the uh, once the fish start dying. But in order to make the fish continuous, I need them to start laying eggs, which means I need them to stop being crowded, which means I need more water, I assume. I don't exactly know what the ratio of fish to water should be, but it certainly makes sense that it's not a good ratio right now. Food is decayed, that's fine. We're still doing okay for food. 
Okay, here we go. Now we're start finally starting to dig the tunnel. We're up over an hour now, but I'm going to let this, this tunnel finish getting built, I think. And we are pumping our water now. Okay. So this water that's coming through is at 45 degrees Celsius. It's dripping into more or less a little bit under 25 Celsius. So as long as it doesn't heat up over, I would guess, maybe about 28 or so, I'm going to feel okay about it. The reason I picked that number is we know our bristle blossoms need cold water, right? The um, properties of a bristle blossom, yeah, they can't go above 30. Attribute increase, okay. How are we doing here from our, our tunneling standpoint? Not too good. There we go. Slowly but surely, we'll get there. Two at a time, huh? That's all you have? Oh, no. Okay, good. You know what we need? We need, a, uh, we need a deodorizer up here now, too. Let's go ahead and power it with uh, this. In fact, let's do two of them here. I got so many deodorizers. I'm, sh I'm sure this is extremely ugly for people, what we're doing with the deodorizers. But right now, I'm more concerned about the functionality. We've got a, a buddy bud that is idle because of the body temperature. So they can only go up to 40, and right now they're at 46. So we gotta be very careful about our heat over here as well. Now I'm not sure what's gonna happen when we have this cold from this biome colliding with the heat from this biome. I'm guessing that over time the heat will win. But as long as we keep it out of our base, speaking of which, we're not really keeping it out of our base, are we? We need to... We need to keep it out of our base. I guess we're okay right here. For now, until I figure out what I want the exact shape to be, that'll be fine for now. Okay, at this point, it seems like I'd better probably wrap up bef even before finishing this off because... We, we're, we've got our tasks divided between too many things. Well, although we're getting pretty close, getting pretty close. Printables available. What do we have? Ice. Perfect. It's probably not the best choice long term. The fertilizer might be better long term, but this is a good time for us to get some additional ice. I'm going to go ahead and take this uh, storage bin, copy settings, and put it here. So we can put our liquefiables into either one of those. I'm going to slow it down to just fast forward at this point. So we're about to break through into this biome via a, an avenue that is not going to cause us heat stroke. So that'll be nice. And we got some ice keeping our water down. Okay, our water's getting, getting a little bit too hot. We've got to turn this off. Um, where, this. Disable the building. Yeah, this water's this water's heating up faster than I realized. We have raised the level of the water a decent amount, so that's good. But yeah, it's too hot right here. How much ice do we have in here? We got 5.5 tons at minus 35C. As that melts, it will definitely cool off some of the rest of this. Meanwhile, all the rest of this is going to continue dripping down in here. I hope that doesn't uh, do too much destructiveness. So... What is that? That's crude oil. Why do I have crude oil in there? I don't remember how that could have happened. Okay, well, we've, we've finished digging the, the passageway. We've recognized that we are running into issues here with our 
our water. But um, I think we'll brainstorm on that maybe at the beginning of the next episode. But I think this is an okay place to leave things for now. One last double check of our germ situation. We are fine for the most part. Don't love this here, but it's okay. I can live with it. All right. I think we're going to probably go ahead and leave it at that for this episode. But in any case, we are uh, it's getting a little bit more stressful for me, but that's that's good. That's what I like. I like it to be challenging and fun. So, all right. Anyway, thank you all so much for watching and I will see you all in the next episode.